In this video, I'll show you how to turn any laptop into a desktop. This video might not be useful at all, but I'm making it anyway just because I haven't made a video in such a long time. All right, so the laptop that we're using for this video is a Dell N5010. Now, if you look at the left side, this computer does have a HDMI in. Now, get a monitor that supports HDMI. So if you look at the back of the monitor, you should be able to see the HDMI port. So I'm using a HP Pavilion 22BW monitor. It's an IPS panel, so it's pretty cool. Now the cable that will attach your computer to the monitor is what's called the HDMI cable. You can get this thing from Amazon for around five bucks. So I'll put a link in the description if I don't forget. Plug one end of the HDMI cable to the monitor and the other end to your laptop. All right, this is crucial. So right click on your desktop, uh, select screen resolution, and then in here, uh, if you click on uh, number two, you should be able to see your uh, monitor's name. And in here, just select show desktop only on two, click apply, and voila, you should see something on your monitor. Now get a keyboard, I'm using a Microsoft keyboard. Uh, it's a USB keyboard, so make sure it's actually a USB keyboard. And I bought this from Amazon for around 10 bucks, and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. And here is the mouse I'm using, also around 10 bucks, and you should be able to find it on Amazon, and, or I'll put a link in the description. Now plug the mouse and the keyboard to your laptop, and then put the laptop to sleep. Wait around five seconds for it to go to sleep, and then click a couple of times with your uh, external micro uh, mouse, and then your monitor should light up. And right now it's almost in a desktop state, but we need to do one more thing. Now put the laptop on the back of the monitor, and this is what it should look like. The laptop is completely hidden. Now here is something that I find a lot more useful and that is to have the laptop in portrait mode and to the right of the monitor. Now here is the settings for that. You can just pause the video and then look at my settings for this. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you want more content, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.